Packed place today going to be Civic Center Park. 30,000 people expected to attend the 420 festival today. In years past, the gathering was illegal. City even turned on the sprinklers to get rid of the crowds. Well, now that it is legal, one of the first celebrations in Civic Center Park following the pandemic. If you're traveling downtown, you'll want to avoid areas around Civic Center Park with the closure around the park. Let's go to Justin Adams. He's at the park now. How's the crowd there? Well, Dom, as you can see, people are ready to get inside. Here is the line at the Ma High 420 Festival. Uh, just individuals looking to get in. And this is going to be one of the biggest events that Civic Center Park has seen since it reopened back in November. Also, you can see the metal detectors, too, as people need to go and make sure that they don't carry any bottles or any type of cans or any type of weapons or anything like that if they want to get inside of this major event. Now, one of the biggest things about this event is that event organizers are hoping that this park will be left in better shape than it was back in 2017. That's when the trash was everywhere after the rally ended and organizers were fined and banned from holding the rally for three years. Now today organizers, they don't want to make the same mistake. So they placed trash cans all over the park and hired a cleanup crew to make sure that the park is left spotless. We are a big believer in leaving the space better than how we found it. I think as a community, environment is so important and we want to keep this festival going. So we have an entire cleanup crew that will come in tomorrow night after the festival and hopefully it looks better than it does today. Now, Ashley also told me that the crew or the cleanup crew that they hired and the security as well, that they all hired cost them about $125,000. This money is going to be well spent because of the high crime in the area. According to the city of Denver's crime map, 339 offenses have been committed at Civic Center this year. That's the fourth most offenses per square mile in Denver. In total, there will be about 120 security personnel on site just to make sure that everyone is safe. We just feel it's important. We have metal detectors that are going on. We are going to be checking in what people are bringing in. No bags are going to be allowed this year. No weapons of any kind. We just really want to do right by the community and the community members to feel really safe for this festival. As you can see, there's trash cans right there already. So people, if they're taking anything from outside, they have a place to throw things away. And that's one of the goals today is to make sure that everything is cleaned up and also that everyone has fun and stays safe during the Ma High 420 rally. And also, there's going to be some music that you hear right behind me. Lil John, he gets ready and gets things rolling here at 4 o'clock. In Denver, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Justin, thanks so much.